In part one of this two-part series, we drove from Girdwood, Alaska to Chitna to go paddle the Upper Kotsina River, which is an Alaska mega classic kayak run. So in this second part, we're going to be checking out the Upper Kuskalana River Gorge, which is what I consider to be the most impressive whitewater canyon in Alaska or anywhere I've been in the world for that matter. So sit down, buckle up, and welcome to Truck House Life, baby. Good morning, kiddos. I am super beat, but we're doing it anyway. We get some coffee going, and uh, yeah, we're gonna go four wheel in, and then we're gonna go paddle. It's definitely the most epic canyon up here, so here we go. Uh, oh God. Whoa, okay. Danger. Almost spilled my biscuits and gravy. How cold is it, you ask? It's this cold. No. It's just a little ways down there. What's that? I think that's uh, 238 feet, they say. It's a long ways. I think I trust these welds. I don't know. Or the river, I guess, Cuscalana River. Apparently what defines a river from a creek is a river is 40 miles or longer. If you ever go to paddle this thing yourself, you take out, it's kind of around the corner. There's a big beach slash gravel bar. Take out right there and hike about 200 feet up to the road. Yeah, just start going that way. Cause everybody was cold. No. Yeah. Here's the river. I'd say maybe a quarter, quarter mile. Still got those guys with us. And cartwheel. We get a jumper. Runner. <laughs> Gonna surf them motors right. Here we are at the put-in of Upper Cuscalana. And uh, you can't see it, but Mount Blackburn's this huge peak around the corner. Here we go.
the first uh, kind of first wrap in the gorge. It's pretty pretty incredible, as you can tell. Down there, it's kind of you need to walk in the right.
There it is, Upper Cuscalana Canyon. Pretty wicked place. Those guys are hiking my boat up for me, but I'm gonna go get the four-wheeler. So I might try to one-wheel, might try to bike ride, I don't know yet, but let's go do that. That was an incredible run, as you guys saw. It's probably the most beautiful canyon I've ever been in. a little bit narrow. I better lock my hubs. This is a little gnarlier than I remember. All right, seven miles to go, let's do it. That's a pretty big hill climb. Probably another five miles to go, I wanna say. It's a beautiful mountain bike ride though. It's gorgeous out today, as you can see. All right, there's a pretty cool public use cabin up here, right on Nugget Creek. It's like the Nugget Creek cabin, I think. Man, I am glad to see the wheeler. Load this bike up and head out of here. Get across this creek in my Crocs first. All right, we get the bike strapped on, so let's go home. Woo! <laughs> All right, man, I'm glad to be back. And by back, I still mean about seven hours from my hometown of Girdwood, so. Once I get everything loaded, basically I'm gonna get back to Girdwood at about maybe one or two in the morning at this point, but it's all good. It was totally worth it. Incredible weekend. So first thing I'm gonna do is start the oven and get uh, some Beecher's mac and cheese going. So let's do that. I am excited for this. Got the oven warming up. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in, then go load the four-wheeler and, uh, and then we're getting out of here. Yeah, yeah. We made it back to the main road. And by main road, I mean 60 mile long dirt road. Let's uh, let's go see how the mac and cheese is doing. I can't imagine it's not ready to eat. Oh yeah. That is legit. You ever made mac and cheese while you four wheeled at the same time? I mean, whoo, that's hot. Does that not look perfect? I'm gonna eat some dinner and start driving. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. I guarantee you there'll be another adventure. Peace, y'all.